Well, the time is ticking for South Carolina to pass a hate crime bill by this year. Our Danae Bucci spoke to the experts, joins us now live with the latest. Danae. Yeah, Shannon, if that bill isn't passed this year or within this week, excuse me, it won't become law until 2022. Certainly, we don't want to be the last state to pass it. The South Carolina House is taking up a hate crime bill of their own, making them one of three states that has not yet adopted one. What we have seen both in South Carolina and across the country in the last several years is a very disturbing upward trend of crimes based on prejudice, race, religion, sexual orientation, etc. And um, to be one of the only states that really doesn't have a hate crimes law in itself sends a message that 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 we don't want to sin. I think it's important to note that hate crime bills and laws are not just for a select group of people. They protect all of us. Several organizations have backed House Bill 3620, including the South Carolina Chamber of Commerce, who says the bill would spell good things for business. Uh, more and more companies are taking a look at uh, what you might call intangible issues like this, in addition to the other traditional issues. The business world does take a look at these kinds of things, and uh, uh, it's a box that uh, that we ought to be able to check. If signed into law, it could add up to $10,000 in fines or five years of jail time on top of a person's original sentence. It's saying, you know what, if you're targeting a person because of, of a bias that you hold against them uh, when committing those acts, then you deserve uh, a, an additional penalty. And South Carolina legislators actually based their hate crime bill off of the Georgia one that passed last year. Shannon. All right, Danae, thank you.